This video will be covering frequently asked questions and tips for setting up your CMS website. All of our templates have slight differences, so if the template you ordered is different from the one in this video, worry not, the information will still be helpful. The template I'm currently working with is called Surrey. Once you've logged into the back end of your CMS website, you will see all the pages to your website listed here. If you want to edit one of those pages, simply click on the pages hyperlink to open it up. I would recommend starting with your home page since that page has the most information on there that is needing to be set up. What is the difference between the save and publish button? How often should I save? It is very important that you save your changes often. You don't want to put in a lot of work on your website and have a power outage or a hiccup in your internet that will ruin all your progress. So saving changes as a draft or publishing the changes often will make your life easier in the long run. Saving as a draft is used when you want to save what you're working on without it being displayed online, while the Publish button allows you to save your changes and publishes them to your website, making them visible when your clients visit it. How do I undo mistakes? Holding down the Control button and pressing the letter Z on your keyboard will undo the last change you made on a Windows computer. And for Macs, if you hold down the Command button and press the letter Z, it will undo the last change as well. Here's an example of a mistake that I made trying to change a phone number text. Notice how I highlighted the text and then clicked the delete button and the system removed the phone icon along with it. I want to keep that phone icon so I'll hold down my control button and press the letter Z to undo that change. What is the best way to edit or remove pre-filled text without messing up the structure? Usually people will select all the text and remove it by using the delete button or the backspace button. However, in some cases this will also remove the structure of that box. Instead, you should be clicking in the middle of the text and use the delete or backspace button to remove that information. How do I edit or add links to my website? To edit a link, you simply double left click on that link in order to pull up the hyperlink editing tool. When editing your phone number and email address link, it's important to keep all the letters and characters except the information that you want to replace. If you remove the characters before the phone number or email address, it will no longer open the phone dialer nor open the email with your contact information pre-populated. You can also add hyperlinks to any text on the page. I had one customer add new web pages for his service type list on his home page so that his clients can get more information about those services, which I thought was a fantastic idea. How do I add more vehicle types and add more lists on the header and footer? The Duplicate Item button allows you to add another item to the list very easily. For example, if I want to add another service type to this list here, or add another page link in my menu bar in the header or footer, I'd click in the box that I want to place the new field under or to the right of, and then select the Duplicate button. You would also use this feature to add more fleet on your fleet page. How do I move the service type list items or delete the items from the list? You can rearrange your list items or delete them by using the up arrow, down arrow, or trash can icon. I would recommend that you always use a trash can icon when it's available so that the formatting doesn't get messed up when you're trying to remove a listed item. You can use the same options for the header and footer links. How do I change the color scheme on my website? You can request a color scheme change by emailing web at limoanywhere.com with your company ID and the hex color code for the background and accent colors. In order for us to get the proper color you're wanting, we will need that hex code. We've placed a link in the description that will help you to get the hex code that you're looking for. 